It has been nearly 100 years since the tragic bath school disaster that shocked the nation where the school was bombed, leaving rippling effects to this very day. And now a new documentary series is remembering the many victims and serving as a fundraiser. Tessa Crash is here for you now with more. Yes, tonight is the screening for the first two episodes of Forgotten, America's worst school massacre. But it's more than just a look back in history. The screening tonight is part of a fundraising effort for a new museum project. On May 18, 1927, an explosion ripped through the Bath School building, killing 43 people and injuring at least 58. My father was nine years old in the fourth grade. He was buried alive. He had a broken foot and a broken ankle. Uh, his hair was burned, his face was burned, his eyebrows and his eyelashes, and he had cuts all over. Sue Hagerman says after the explosion, nobody talked about what happened. They just picked up, they cleaned up the mess, they took care of their dead. 38 dead students. Um, and they just went on with their lives. Nearly a hundred years after the disaster, a new documentary series is reminding people of what happened. We went through great effort to recreate these scenes with Model Ts and children dressed up from the period. After 19 years of interviews, research and filming, Matt Martin and his team at Optic Productions wrapped up the three-part documentary series. These people serve as great examples of how it, these the most horrific things can be overcome. And that's why Bath exists today. It's thriving. Martin says with school massacres becoming more common, this story is especially relevant to today's discussion. The documentary is actually going to be a fundraiser for our new muse museum building that we're going to build. The museum, based in the middle school, currently features photos, memorials, the American flag that hung over the building, and more. And the new one will also be able to hold the cupola that survived the explosion. We want to keep it remembered because it's part of our history. It's who we are. Tonight's screening will begin at 7 p.m. in the Bath School Auditorium. Proceeds will go towards a new museum building, which is planned to open by 2027 on the 100th year anniversary of the disaster. Back to you.